I genuinely can't remember bollocks all about this place. Hmm. Looks kind of secure. It's locked. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now you can just release the locks on the levers. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, thank you, Joel. I figured that. And I can't get through there, so this is kind of a dead end. There's a first aid thingy on the floor here, but truthfully, I don't really need it. Ooh, this is a side door. Excellent. I'm going to leave it there for now, because I know where it is. And if I need health, I can just come grab it. No dead people in here. What a success. Will you pick up the x-ray? Yeah, why not? Will you pick up the other x-ray? Again, why not? There's something scroll in the pad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Okay. Go over here and place it, I suppose. Okay, so what we got? An x-ray photograph. Clark David. Exchange positions of the x-ray photo. Why not? Oh. Yes, thank you. So, Alex, Gale, which, that's Alex, that's fine. This one's Clark, no. That's Gale at the end, that's fine. No. This is Ed, okay, that looks right. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, so, can I turn the lights off here? Researcher's letter. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew, and you'll be a person dragged into endless sequels. You poor, poor girl. The results of my test came out today, and I suspected it came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reasoning. Or reason. Just thinking about my impending doom. I'd give anything not to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. Sadly. That would have saved us a lot of faff. I sincerely hope things have not reached such a desperate pass, but if it's turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room, and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole incident accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I set up the terminal in the small security room so you can log into the system using my name and your password. And your name is the password. Because that's safe. I'll leave this in a note so anyone can do it. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded the password into an x-ray picture. I'm not even trying to pronounce that. I know you. I'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in the state, but if you do and happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John. Ada. Alright. Is there a light switch here? There is. Good. Let's, uh... Click. Part of it is glowing red. Okay. Okay, we got... What's that? Colon? Esophagus. What's that? Liver. Lungs. Colon, esophagus, liver, lungs, cell. God done, Dragon Ball Z. Right. If that's what I think it is, anyway. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Let's go check out the other room. Guess there's somewhere we can jam a password in somewhere. Huh. I have none of your nonsense, mate. What's behind door number two? Ooh, magnum rounds. Dead people. But more importantly, magnum rounds. I should actually start using the magnum at some point. Oh, okay, this is just the John Ada thing, I guess. Oh, who uses alphabetical rather than QWERTY? Honestly. No wonder you can't type on this damn thing. C 
kind of computer system lets you have a three bloody digit password, honestly. Utterly absurd. Ropple system. Yay! Hello, oh, but not both, I guess. Colon, esophagus, lungs, liver. Let's see if I got this right. Hooray! Okay, good. Basement level two is for some reason in the golden eye intro screen. Good. Can we also unlock that? Why would it do that? Why would you have a computer system that's unlocked doors with a loading screen? Why don't just do it? Like, that's ridiculous. <sighs> oh well. Okay, we quit. Yes, please. Thank you, umbrella operating system. This seems like a place of, uh, where slappers would be. I would get, say, sloppers at this point, but you know. Looks a bit biohazy in here. Is that everything? No, apparently I've missed something. Is it an item I've missed, I think? Ah! V act. Like V jolt. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host creature mutates into a humanoid creature. We call them v ax Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and ag more agile. Yeah, whatever. And aggressive. Already, four of our researchers have died trying to feed it. Unless we're talking about the tyrant, of course. Tried to feed it. Turning the place into instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric incident, we have <laughs> say instant accident. We decided to call its kind crimson heads. Okay, that makes sense. Like they, they are more agile. I thought you meant the normal sloppers, or slappers. That dangerous and pr that dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left here. Therefore, we sealed it behind a stupid way that no one would ever be able to get to it unless they actually tried to put some masks in a hole. Like, duh. we finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the back of the cemetery, locked in with four dumb masks. Good for you. Uh, still says we're missing something. I don't see anything glowing. I must be missing something in here, but I don't know what. That's annoying. What the hell can we missing? Oh well. All right. Let's assume it wasn't anything important. We can always come back to it later. Right, I'm, what I'm probably going to do actually, after that, doing that redonkulous little puzzle, is. Go and save it. I just wonder if there's any sloppers in here. Um, I've been saving it a lot this set. That's like three times. Oh no, I didn't save it the second time, did I? Okay, yeah. I'm going to go upstairs, save it. I'm probably also going to clear out these jerks. You guys come to me. I'm just going to look at Jill. She has a lovely hat. Ooh, to you too, Tosser. Look, I'm going to dance. You can dance if you want to. You need your world behind. <laughs> Alright, well. Come on, guys. You know where I am. I can't see you because of the camera angle, so... You're going to have to come to me. Then I can, oh, there we go. Then I have to blow off your head. Now. Of course. Well, he's dead. More or less. You, sir. Are you going to be the next one in the line? Of course. Oh, wow. He's not actually dead. Well, that's awkward. Either of them are dead. You know what I'm going to do? Instead of wasting any more shotgun shells, I have a way better idea. I'm going to do what I was talking about earlier. I'm going to get my pistol. I'm going to shoot them all. Then I'm going to burn them. That way I can always come back to this safe box. I don't have to worry about it. Not wasting any more shotgun ammo when I shouldn't do, really. Well, I do have a fair whack of shotgun ammo. Probably have enough to last me, truthfully. And I've got lots of magnum ammo, too. I've got 12 magnum rounds, in fact. Handgun! Lighter. Handgun rounds. Fuel canteen! Let's go execute some assholes. Everyone likes executing people, right? Especially assholes.
Zombie assholes. Zombie scientist assholes. It's like a triple triad of dickery. Oh, shit! That is not fair, and you friggin' know it, man. He's not actually dead, is he? He's not actually dead. That is so mean. I am so cross with you right now. I was gone, like, ten seconds. Eat me. Oh, he's not actually dead. Well, I apparently took offense to getting burned. Well, tough tits. Whoosh. Where's the other one? Did you run the corner? What are you doing around there? Do do do. You can burn them if you want to. Well. Thank you, Mr. Crimson Head. See, I told you. Three bobs, and then suddenly Gregor the Destroyer shows. Well, it just shows me a lesson, really. My hubris could have got the better of me. Plenty of kerosene. Will I refuel? Thank you. There we go. I've also shot many a zombie in here. I should have just. I should have just killed them all initially with the pistol and just done it. Ugh, that was very silly. That could have ended in oh, hideous amounts of tears. I'm talking like. Extra salt. Nevertheless, uh, we'll dump all this back in the box because I don't need it right now. Doink, 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 doink. I only need these things for me right now. Also, I need to I need to use this magnum soon. I, f I feel that it time time is going to be necessary for this magnum usage. Crap! Would I leave the save ribbons? There they are. So on that note, thank you very much for watching. I will use this ridiculously old typewriter to uh, save my content. I suppose they couldn't have give you floppy disks, could they? Yeah, you can only do one save per floppy disk because it's only 1.41 megabytes. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, bye-bye.